What's going on guys? So today's video is going to go back to some of the roots. Back when I used to live in California and constantly was fighting against these stupid anti-gun situations that happened over there in California and still continue to happen. And I strongly uh, suggest and recommend to all of you guys to support states like California, you know, New York and stuff that are very anti-gun because they're always getting attacked for stupid reasons. But that's not what this video is about. This video is going back to those roots, however, it's not about California, it's about gun laws in general. And one in particular that I want to talk about is this whole ATF situation taking comments on the whole bump stock situation and how it really has very little to nothing to do with bump stocks. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. All right, so if you guys are still watching and I haven't tuned anybody out, what I mean by has very little to almost nothing to do with bump stocks is exactly that. I am the type of person that believes that we shouldn't be giving anything more, any more slack to the uh, anti-gun individuals because we've been giving and giving and giving and we haven't had almost anything in return. Because of this, it's time to stop the compromising and start going on the offensive because we need to get these, you know, this whole situation taken under control. It is absolutely absurd. But going back to this whole situation with the bump stocks, the reason why I say it has very little to do with bump stocks is because they're using that as a crutch to take more than just bump stocks. If you notice, they're just giving out little tiny words like rate increasing, but they fail to do something as simple as define what rate increasing means. They're saying rate increasing device, but what is a device? What are they thinking in the, you know, within the organization of the ATF? What does that mean to them? And how is it going to affect us? Now, anything as of now, the way it sits, the way they're talking about rate increasing is just that very very broad spectrum it's anything that will increase the rate of fire of your firearm now that raises a couple questions what is rate increasing what is the device what is a standard rate of fire right something as simple as that is absolutely absurd if you're going to fail to you know define all these things the, the law is very specific if you read laws or anything like that you would know that when you read laws it's very 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 specific and that's why there's ways around laws but this time it's extremely broad and that is very dangerous and I'll tell you why because nothing is defined with rate increasing anything period that has the potential of increasing a rate of fire will now become illegal if all of this ends up if they if you know the anti guns uh, individuals get what they want anything that will potentially increase the rate of fire of your firearm will be forced to reclassify that weapon into a machine gun and if you're caught using that without having a proper tax stamp or anything like that you have now committed a felony yep exactly it but without on top of that they also fail to define what the device is so does that mean if you install a Geisley trigger into your AR-15, now you have, you know, in theory, you've raised the rate of fire to your AR-15 or any other gun for that matter because of a lighter trigger pull? You can, in theory, shoot faster. If you have a, a quicker reset and a lighter trigger pull, you can shoot a lot faster. Ask any competition shooter. Would that be banned? Uh, I, I've seen, you know, uh, magazine tubes for AR-15s that have a tighter compressed uh, interior so that when the spring compresses, it compresses at a more consistent rate, allowing the reciprocation of the bolt going back and forth a lot faster, making follow-up shots quicker. Would that be considered rate increasing? 1911s, a simple, you know, polished job uh, to certain parts inside your, you know, 1911 or even cutting or bending certain things inside of 1911. Stock parts, 
but doing those specific things on a 1911 will increase the uh, the the rate of fire to your 1911. Would that be considered rate increasing device? You got to keep in mind that this is not just about you know aftermarket parts for your 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 firearms. Think about it like this: Could training become a thing of the past with something like this? Uh, granted, it's not a device. However, it is a tool that individuals use to make themselves more proficient in, say, shooting. Take individuals like, say, Jerry Michalek. He is a, an insane shooter. Like he can shoot almost anything at a very fast pace. Would a firearm in his hands make any gun into a machine gun? Because I've seen him shoot guns that are not never meant to be like fast shooters, but he shoots them incredibly fast. Would that be one of those situations? The problem here isn't the bump stocks in general. I, again, don't think they should be banned or anything like that. However, even though some states already did, like New Jersey, but would it be logical to suggest that they're just using this as a crutch just to simply keep the, the definition of the laws very broad to the point so that they will literally have all the power to say that is rate increasing because of something so stupid as a polish job to your you know to your connector in your Glock it's literally that stupid and we're, this would give the ATF a lot of power if you know the anti-gun community gets what they want so if you ask me that's very scary something that we should not do everybody I encourage everybody to go to you know your legislative uh, representatives so uh, you, you know your your representatives your your senators of your state and just blow up their offices to the point where their secretaries want to quit their job and everything because this is absolutely absurd and they your representatives need to know that this is not something that should even be entertained at that level so do that I know gun owners of America have a, an article and a way to you that you can take action on all this stuff I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna post it in the comments or in the uh, description down below so I encourage everybody to do that as well if you want to get some more information on that so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video